what you got, cooks. There's our, there's our spiral wrapped donut pendant. Look what you did today. You will need your donut. Um, this is a, well, I had it right the first time, dish. It's a 40 millimeter. It's a 40 millimeter donut. Uh, your tools, your nippers, chain nose plier, round nose plier. Um, I like these big flat ones too. When it gets down to where we need to like actually push stuff around, not needed. Just a preference. These are my favorites. Um, you're gonna need some. Um, 16 gauge copper wire, some 22 gauge copper wire. This is the zebra wire. Um, it doesn't patina like a lot of the other wires. Um, it's a lot softer than the other wires. It's not sponsored, uh, but I do really like this wire. Okay. <clears throat> Take your round nose pliers and make a bale. Um, make it bigger so start at the back or start at the more wider point of the round nose uh, pliers and do a full turn to get your bail. Um, make sure that you're flush so you'll need to take your pliers, push it into place, so you're flush here. Um, that will be just fine for a bigger, um, like a silk cord. Um, now position your round nose pliers to the back and give it a little bit of a turn because what we're doing, basically uh, making this little straight part here because uh, that's where we're going to start our wrap. And you're going to measure roughly, okay? Roughly bend your wire to get a rough idea of the circumference and the shape. Because we're going to go halfway around and we can make a loop flush on the stone, or we can make a loop that hangs underneath the stone and we can hang a little a little crystal or something there. Um, I'll decide that as we go. So, measure this oh, roughly. Remember. Don't be afraid of your waist. Never be afraid of your wire. Okay. So we know that we're going to, here at the top, have to bend this up so that this is flush against the stone. So we'll make an allowance for that. And we're gonna make an allowance for a spiral or another, um, uh, you know, loop on the bottom. Uh, so we're gonna give it about that much. That's about what we're gonna work with. We're gonna work about right there. We're eyeballing it. So now I can tell you that we are using approximately, and I'll put that in the description, 
five inches of, of 16 gauge wire. Okay, so I'm going to mold this back around in a semicircle as such. And then with my uh, chain nose pliers, I'm going to bend this loop up perpendicular. See there? Like that? Um, because we're going to start our wrap right here. Okay. And we will form this as we go because we've got to leave this open to work our wire on. Okay. And you're going to want to use um, 36 to 48 inches, 3 to 4 feet of the 22 gauge wire. Um, just depends on how big you want the design to be, how far you want it to go around the stone. Um, and there's always a little bit extra left over and that's okay. So, so start with your leave a tail at the top so you have something to hold on to. Okay. Go ahead and you can start that because we'll tighten it up. So I went ahead and just bent it around there to start it so I could hold on to it. This is one wrap. We're going to do five wraps. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Five is the magic number in this design. Okay. So now that you have your five wraps, place the wire. And you're, we're going to be working along the edge of the donut. That's where we're going to, this will be like a spine. Um, and unless you have a really pretty design that you're wanting to work with, the one great thing about these, there's no top, no bottom, no left, no right. It's a circle. Um, so your last wrap is on the back. If your last wrap is on the front, go through the front. My last wrap is facing the back, so I'm going to the back of the donut. Bring that through. Make sure it's snug, but not flush. You got to be able to work. Okay, go back up. You're snug on your donut. This first part, the handling is a little difficult. Here, and then you'll come around like this and catch it. Make sure that you're snug. Eeks. Okay, we're gonna do five wraps. It's difficult to get started, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I've got that started. We've got one wire and we've got one loop. That counts as one. Let's do four more. Five is the magic number. One, two, three, four, five. And with each wrap, go ahead and push it up tight with your finger and then move it on up so it's the design is together. Now each time we do one it's going to tighten up and it's going to get easier to work. Okay, Go ahead and pull that tight and I'm coming around towards the back and pushing the tail of my wire through the donut Make sure it's snug. Now the design's going to start to fly, okay? So we've got two on here. Let's make sure. Let's get them. Let's get them. See how it's starting to, it's wanting to move down. Go ahead and get your pliers and move it back up. Help it along a little bit. There you go. Okay. All right. 
Let's do a loop to anchor it on. Go ahead and push it into place with your finger. That counts as one wrap, so there's one. you want to adjust this wire go ahead and put your project down and bring this around make sure you're starting to bring that in yeah we still got a lot of good room okay there now go through the back through the front Pull it snug, okay. And what as you're going through, you want to make sure that these are side by side so they lay flush. It's really easy to get them to cross over each other, and it's just for aesthetics, okay. If you want yours to cross over, do it. So let's secure it. There's one. Three, four, five. One more time. Pull it tight. Come over here. Secure it with a loop. Tighten it up into place. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Now to save time, I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. Okay? You work on yours. I'll work on mine. When you start to get toward the end of your design here, it's a lot easier to wrap. Once you come around the back and you secure your first loop, put it into place, you can just turn your work. So there's one. To see how easy that is? Two, three, four, five. So fast, so fast. And I'm going to do one more. Secure that in, so there's one, two, three, four, five. That fast. Okay. This gives us a total of, as far as wraps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen wraps. I'm going to leave this wrap here um, and make this the bottom of my design. It's not quite to uh, like it's not quite straight down from the bail because I want my twist here. Um, and so I have about of my four foot. I did it in about three foot. Um, but this is a perfectly good piece of copper to use for a different project. Um, so, going to clip this with a little bit of a tail here because I'm going to mash it around. So I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and bend that around.
and I'm going to mesh it firmly into place. And that will hold the design secure. I'll feel for rough edges. I don't feel any. It's tight all the way around. Now let's do something with this. I do believe I think that's what I want to do as opposed to yeah. So going to oh yeah, let's do this. This tail here at the top of your bail. Go ahead and trim that off. Pretty close to the design. Take a chain those pliers. And bring that around. And as you bring it around towards the back, really press down on it. And that will put it into place. Yeah, no rough edges. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we have this here, and what we're going to do is make make a spiral. This is a little difficult to work with if you're new um, to wire spiraling um, because it's not as malleable. Um, so just use some slight pressure to push this up. See it here? And then we're going to start our spiral. Actually, we're going to measure out of this tail and let's do inches well we're going to do from the spiral out about 25 millimeters uh, or roughly an inch um, So that's all we're going to need. So that was the wrap. Now that you've, you've pushed this up and you have this angle here, take your round nose pliers towards the end. Make sure to keep your round nose pliers not flush against the stone, but really close to the stone because you will scratch it. And start to slowly turn it into a spiral. Now that you have this started, you can use your chain nose pliers. Go ahead and lift it up away from the design. And start to turn it in. It's not going to hurt to lift it away from the design to save your stone from scratches. There you go, and you can hold this down with your thumb and press up on it to get it tight. That is pretty snug on that design. There you go. And there's your pendant. If you have a few seed beads lying around, um, as you bring your spiral around, you can add a bead. 
and embellish. That way you can add color if you want. Uh, there's our there's our spiral wrapped donut pendant. Look what you did today. So remember, be peaceful, be kind, be supportant, and wear your art proudly. I'll talk to you soon.